also I decided to make some pudding for my lunch and uh, I'm running out of time so I thought I'd just you know quickly throw together some pudding to go with the rest of my food. I have soup at work and then I've got like granola bars, some veggies, and the leftover salad from last night. So I'm making this and I'm like reading it and I said oh this one requires three cups of milk. The vanilla only required two cups of milk and then there was instructions on how to either cook it on the stove top or in the microwave. And then I was really confused and I checked the front of the box. The vanilla one I had previously is instant pudding. This one's actually pudding and pie filling mix. And so it's not instant pudding. It's super liquidy. I'm trying to microwave it now, but it's going to be like borderline the time I have to leave. So I don't even know what to do. And I hope it's not too much pudding because even with the vanilla, I took half of it in my lunch and left half of it at home. This is three cups of milk instead of two, so I'm scared it's gonna be like a crap ton of chocolate pudding. But, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. So it's still super liquidy, but I have to get going right now. So I'm just gonna hope that it cools nicely by the time I get to work and the rest is just gonna go in the fridge. Hey guys, so I'm at work and I'm filming with my stupid cell phone because Okay, I bring my digital camera to work every day, even though I don't use it at work. I just bring it in case I want to film something on the way to work or the way back from work, even though most times I don't end up filming anything. And then today, it wasn't in my purse. And at first I thought, oh, I'm just not going to bring it today. And then I changed my mind and decided I did want to bring it, but I forgot to grab it because I was in such a rush to get out the door at that stupid pudding. And so anyways, now I'm stuck filming with my phone and it's just crappy looking. I don't know, and it's weird because it looks widescreen on the screen, but when I import the footage onto my computer, it's square. It's not that it's squishing the video, it just cuts off the sides that I don't understand. Anyway, so I'm just um, working on stuff because I'm staying late because I took time off yesterday to go do all that apartment rental stuff, and so I missed two and a half hours of work, so I'm, I think I'm going to stay like maybe an hour and a half late today, and then an hour late tomorrow and then that should even things out so yay I mean I don't have to make up the time but I want the money so I'm going to make up the time <laughs> so yeah uh, I'm just doing some like animation layout stuff you know it's, it's I don't know <laughs> it's just the end of the day I don't want to work on it anymore but I have to so I'm like dang it gotta stay late and I didn't think to pack a bit of extra food for supper or anything so I don't have any well I have like soups and things in that bag but I already had a soup today so I don't really want to have another one I'll probably just uh, try to hold out till I get home although I do have some little bunny chocolates that were just here in the office they're the kind that have the little rice crispy stuff in them so they're really yummy so I was gonna eat a couple bunnies and then I'll just try to survive I might actually have a fruit cup yes I do work survival skills how to be how to survive being stranded at work with no food and there's nowhere to buy food unless I leave the premises, so I don't want to do that. I'm just going to chill here. Oh, and there's stupid food trucks outside all the time now, and it smells so delicious. And you see them, like, slow roast and roast and all this crap outside and barbecue and burgers, and you can smell it all, but we can't have any of it. <sighs> it makes me so mad. Like, I would even be willing to pay for it if they would allow that, but I don't know. I don't think we're allowed to eat from the food trucks. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to get back to work, so goodbye. As soon as I left and got on the SkyTrain, I was getting texts from Jacob, and right as he sent his second text, it made my phone die. <laughs> so then my phone was done, and I couldn't even listen to music or check the time, and it was really stressful. Anyways, I went to the dollar store just to get stuff like packaging supplies for if I sell some artwork in my online store. So I was just kind of stocking up so they have bubble mailers. Eh. And there's two in each package, so I have six for now. So if it's a full-size piece of artwork, it would take up a whole one. Otherwise, i cut them in half. And I thought I would spruce up my presentation a little bit from now on, because before it was just, oh, I'm selling leftovers from conventions. But now I kind of want to, you know, I'm selling my artwork, so I want to make it look nice. So I have some tissue paper. I have just some yellow and some sparklies. Ooh la la and also clear protective sheets because if it's something that will fit in one of these I'll probably put it in one of these and then there will be cardboard backing and then wrapped in tissue paper and then inserted into the envelope. So fancy. So 
I got, I think, four packs of these, and there's 16 sheets in these. That's, that's a lot, but I just use these for all kinds of things. I can, I, I can even use these for putting in, pic, putting pictures in that I get from my mailbox. So if someone sends me a picture, I can put them in one of these and put them in my binder. And then I also have sequins because I've kind of been wanting sequins for crafting purposes, specifically for putting beads on top of. So yeah, like I said, all this is from the dollar store. So I got a green pack and a blue pack. So that was my little dollar store haul. And then I stopped by, well, I always check the mail in my building every single day, separate from my P.O. box, but I have a thingy that's roughly the shape and size of a magazine, so I'm pretty sure it is the magazine. And then I read, actually read the little taggy, and I'm quite confident that's what it is. Ew! Ew, uh, is it like blood? Did someone get their blood on this? It's disgusting. Anyways, this shipped really, really fast, because I ordered this... Feels like it was not even a week ago. It had to have been maybe a week max, if that. So, okay, I need two hands for this. Hold on. So it is this issue of Imagine FX because I know I just bought one like maybe two weeks ago. You saw it in the vlogs, but inside that one there was an advertisement for this one, and it said available January 31st. And I don't know if that was the availability in Canada. That that might have just been in the UK, but. Regardless, I knew that this issue was already out, so Chapters was just a little behind and had the previous issue and not the most current issue. And I really wanted this one because it is fantasy book illustration, so I knew the art styles would kind of appeal to me. So I have another one already. And once I move to my new place, probably just gonna get a subscription because I'm probably gonna be in that apartment for a at least a year. I would imagine we're staying there for the long haul, so it's safe to get a subscription and not have to worry about changing my address or missing an issue because of address changes, so yay, yay, yay! Imagine effects! <gasps> oh! That is pretty. Oh, stringy! So this just looks like it'll be really cool. And on. I don't know if you can hear that it's a TV show. There's <laughs> a little giggle. And yeah, so that is the issue of Imagine FX, and I'm really excited to read it. While I vlog, it can roll. Why wait when I can vlog now? Oh crap. Three, two, two, two. Uh, three. three. Let's all do threes. Go, Christian. Ooh, We're playing Sellers of Catan or Catan. Does that mean I go second? Yes. Yeah, you go second. Hee hee hee. Oh, and I have Subway, because I haven't had supper yet, and it's like, what, 8.30 okay. or something? I don't, I don't know. know. But it's late. Here's the progress of the game. Christian is winning, and I'm just trying desperately to build settlements. So, Christian won that game. It was actually a pretty long game, because we were trying so hard to not get him to win, and he ended up winning anyways. It's 10.25 which is usually way late for me to start editing the vlog. But I'm not even gonna be editing it yet because we're playing another round. This is why I never get to bed before like midnight and then I'm asleep by 12.30. Sometimes I don't even go to bed till 12.30 and then I pay the price the next day. This is why I have no self-discipline. But this is really, really fun. Settlers of Catan is so, so fun. And here I got my, we're just setting up. Jacob has yet to put his second piece down, but I got clay port and clay. I just wish these numbers were swapped because I want the six there because they're more likely to roll six. And for those who don't know how the game works, you have no idea what I'm talking about, but... This is a really, really addicting game. You basically want to try to get 10 points and you get points by building little houses and other things. I'm not going to explain it all, but it's actually really, really fun. And you got all your little resource cards and you spend your resources to build things that are on this card. And how do you get resources? by getting these numbers rolled if you have a house on that resource. That's all I'm gonna say, anyway. that's all I'm gonna say. I just really like this game. So this will be my fourth game. I played two the other night and now it's gonna be a second game tonight, so yay. So I'm sort of editing the vlog while we play and I was going through the part with the chocolate pudding and it reminded me of all the pudding in the fridge. So I took it out and we're all eating it, except it's very, <laughs> it's because it's also the pie filling kind, it's kind of jello-y almost. Thank you. And uh, it's kind of clumpy. A little bit weird, but it tastes good. And me and Jacob kept making poop Whoa. jokes, and Christian was getting really grossed out and like would refuse to eat his pudding because we kept making poop jokes. Anyway, um, that's all I wanted to say. 
Alright, we're finishing off pudding. Well, not really. There's more pudding! You want more no, poop there? No, I don't want nope. more. No. <laughs> don't make fun of me. <laughs> I was trying to find my camera. Just now I'm looking everywhere. It was on my seat in the corner, but I was like running all over the place. Where did I put it? So you end the vlog. Jacob just won the game. Um, I didn't do too bad overall compared to like one, two, three, four, five. Well, it's six points. That's not that close, but for me, that's pretty good. It's actually kind of average, but. You actually have more than Christian. <laughs> Anyways, it's past midnight now, probably. Wait, did she? Is it? Somebody check the time. Oh, she had two big people. Anyways, I'll check out my single. Oh, it's 11.53. But anyways, I have to finish editing the vlog and everything. we got to pack up and clean. So I'm going to end the vlog here. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. So I'm watching this coloring video on YouTube, and it's by Pencil Butter. And this picture here, like, look, it totally suits me. It's mermaid. Well, you can't see the rest of it. It's She's drawing on both sides of, like, this notebook. And so it's a mermaid if you see the other side, too. And um, the hair is very similar to my hair color, teal and